Hi everyone, my name is Beth with Bodies by Pilates. Today we're going to go through approximately a 30 minute MIGHTY class. MIGHTY standing for Moderate Intensity Targeted Exercises. So the way that this class works is we will do eight total exercises. We will have four moderate intensity exercises lasting 30 seconds each and four targeted exercises that last 50 seconds each. So we have a moderate intensity, 30 seconds. Then we have eight seconds to get into position for our 50 seconds of targeted exercises. And we continue through that until we hit our eighth exercise. Then we have a 30 second break. We do that two more times with 30 seconds in between. For this class, I recommend having um, some type of gym shoes on because there is a lot of um, jumping usually involved. And then you'll also need a mat. Many of the targeted exercises are performed on the mat and that's all you'll need. So I'm going to lead us through this class <clears throat> and we're gonna get started right now. Our first exercise is gonna be skaters for 30 seconds. Let me start the timer. And here we go. So we're doing our skaters. Really explode as you jump side to side. Remember, you still want good form. This is why I recommend men wearing gym shoes of some sort side to side. So we're really trying to stay low, but explode through those legs. We've got five more seconds here. Four, three, two, and one. We have our next exercise is alternating curtsy lunges. Here we go in three, two, one. Curtsy lunge, alternating side to side. Try and get low. Use that glute to stand back up. Make sure that the weight is in the heels of the feet and that that knee stays behind the toes. We're about halfway done. Remember our targeted exercises are 50 seconds long. On deck in about 20 seconds, it's gonna be jumping kicks. Good. So during our targeted exercise, we're bringing that heart rate down just a little bit. Here we go in five, four, three, two, and one. Good, eight seconds. We'll start those jumping jacks. Here we go in three, two, one. Check it out. Good. Good form there. Whew. You got it. We're halfway through it. So give that heart rate up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. We've got a squat to alternating front kicks. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. Squat it, kick, squat, and kick. So sit that booty back. Get those glutes fired up. Good. Big breaths here. Bringing that heart rate down. Keeping that chest lifted, still maintaining that good posture. We're halfway through it. We've got push-ups on deck for 30 seconds. Obviously, you can perform these on your toes or on your knees. Getting that core fired up. Five, four, Three, two, and one. All right, let's go on down for those push ups. Here we go. In three, two, one. Pull the abs in, tuck the hips under. Make sure those shoulders are over those wrists. Pull up through your shoulder bridge. Remember those elbows go back. And then letter A. Don't drop your head here. We've got three, two, one. 
Good job. We've got planks to jackrabbit. Here we go. Coming up in three, two, one. You're going to plank it out. And I want you just to push back. Come right back to that plank and push it back. Go ahead. You got it. Stretch that spine long. Find that good plank every time. Shoulders right over wrists. Pull that belly in, tuck those hips. 15 seconds to go. We've got two more exercises in the first round, and then round one will be done. We've got six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Eight seconds. We're going into mountain climbers. All right, here we go. Mountain climbers. A couple ways you can do these. I want you to take that knee across so you can do it slow or you can do it fast. So whatever you choose, it's your journey. Find that rotation in the core. Get that heart rate up just a little bit. Still have that good plank position here. Got 10 seconds left. We're gonna flip it over for our crisscross coming up next, staying with that, the obliques in the core. In two, one. Woo. Go ahead. Flip it over. We've got our crisscross coming up. Here we go. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. Good. Last exercise in round one. Keep that back imprinted. So if you need to take the legs a little higher, make sure to do that. Rotate as opposed to rock at the waist. We're halfway through it. Good. 15 more seconds. Last four, three, two, one. Woo, good, 30 second break. So grab a drink of water. Just gonna grab my water real quick here. And then we will start that all over again. We've got two more times to get through it. You're doing great. Remember to keep breathing, bring that heart rate down. All right, we've got less than five seconds here. Here we go. Skeeters are up first. Three, two, one. Explode. Keep that chest lifted. Use those legs lateral, side to side here. Halfway through it. We've got our curtsy lunges coming up. Last five, four, three, two, one. Good. We've got curtsy lunges. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Good. So on our targeted exercises, we bring that heart rate down. We're targeting a specific area of the body. Keep that chest lifted, shoulders down. Chest is nice and wide. Good. Whew. Make sure that weight is in that front heel. Keep those knees behind those toes. 20 seconds left. We've got our jumping jacks on deck in 10 seconds. Good. Last three, two, one, stand it up. Okay, get ready for jumping jacks. It's coming up in four, three, two, one. 30 seconds of jumping jacks, getting that heart rate back up. You got it. Good form here. Keep that breath going. We're halfway through. 
last 10 seconds of this move. Three, two, one. Excellent. Okay. We've got our squat to alternating front kicks. Here we go. In three, two, one. Squat it back. Kick it out. Squat and kick. Good. You've got to push that booty back. I'll look from the side here and push it back. I pull the belly in at the same time. Good, we're halfway through. We got our push ups coming up next. The good thing about the mighty class is it goes pretty fast. It's not easy, but it's quick. 10 more seconds here. We'll hit our mats for push ups first. In five, four, three, two, one. Good, let's come on down. 30 seconds of push ups. Comes in three, two, one. Pull that belly in. Tuck those hips, keep those shoulders over those wrists. As you get fatigued, work on your form. Ten seconds. And in three, two, one. Excellent. We've got our plank to our jackrabbit coming up. So give yourself room. Here we go. In three, two, one. We plank it up. Push back into that jackrabbit. Plank and then back. Finding a great plank in between each jackrabbit. Try not to sag through the belly, but pull the belly up. Tuck the hips. Take deep breaths here. You're bringing that heart rate down just a little bit. We are halfway through it. Stretch long through those legs. Push through the heels of the feet here. We've got our mountain climbers coming up. In 10 seconds. In five, four, three, two, one. Good job. We got mountain climbers coming up next. Remember, you can take them fast or slow. Here we go. In three, two, one. Rotate through that core. Last set of exercises in round two. We've got one more round after this. We're more than halfway through this exercise. We've got crisscross coming up next. In four, three, two, and one. Whew. Flip it over. We've got our crisscross coming up in three, two, and one. Go ahead and rotate. Rotate. Good. Excellent. Last exercise in round two. We'll have a 30 second break next. We got one more round through. Rotate. Try to take that elbow up to that knee. More than halfway through. You got it. 15 more seconds. Use that breath. Let's see. Last four. Three, two, one. Whew. Go ahead and stand it up. 30 second break. Get a drink of water. We got one more round through. You're doing great. Here we go. Remember, we've got those skaters coming up first. Last time through, everyone. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one. Skaters. Really explode. Use those glutes. Get that lateral movement. 
Working everything here. Keep that chest open and lifted, but get low. 10 seconds left. Last time for skaters today. Three, two, one. Good. We've got our curtsy lunges coming up. Here we go. In three, two, one. Curtsy lunge. You got it. Really make those glutes work. Keep that chest lifted. Excellent. Step it back. Good. This is where you gain that breath, bringing that heart rate down just a little bit. We've got 20 seconds left. Last time for curtsy lunges. Make those glutes work. Good. Last eight. Last four, three, two, and one. Good. We got our jumping jacks coming up. Here we go. In three, two, one. Check it out. Elevating that heart rate once again. You got it. Halfway through. Good form here. That's three, two, and one. Good. We've got our squats to our front hips. Here we go. In three, two, one. Squat it back and kick it and squat. Kick. So remember, hold that belly in as you squat it back. Work that booty, glutes and hamstrings here. Keep that chest lifted. Take those collarbones wide. Good. We're about halfway through it. Last time we have to do this. We got our push ups on deck. Watch those knees, keep them behind those toes. Last 10 seconds here. We've got four more exercises, we're done. In five, three, two, and one. Good, let's go down. We've got our last size push-ups here. Catch that breath, here we go in three, two, one. Go ahead, push it out. So bring that belly in, tuck those hips, take those shoulders over those wrists. We got it. Ten more seconds. That's five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. We've got our plank to our jackrabbit. Here we go. In three, two, one. Plank it out. Push it back. And plank. And push, squeeze those glutes as you plank. Lift up out of those hands. We are down to two more exercises after this, and then we will stretch it up. Half of it off. You can take this as quick or as slow as you need to. Last eight, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, last two exercises. We've got mountain climbers first in three, two, one, here we go. Give it everything you got there. This is it, our last moderate intensity. We're halfway through it. Last eight. Last four, three, 
two, one. Turn it over. Last time for crisscross. Stay where you're at on your mat after that. We'll stretch it out. Here we go. Crisscross. Last 50 seconds. Good job, everyone. You're keeping me motivated. Last 30 seconds here. So if you feel that back wanting to come up, take those legs a little higher. More than halfway through. Last 20 seconds. You got it. Last 10. Use that breath. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, rest it out. Good job, everyone. All right. Let's give ourselves a few seconds here for that heart rate to start to come down and then we'll stretch it out. So grab a sip of water. I'm just gonna stop the clock here. All right, so grabbing a sip of water. Taking those deep breaths to bring that heart rate down. Let's go ahead and stretch it out. So let's take it to the mat first. All right, so step your right foot forward, your left foot back. We have a tendency to laterally rotate that foot out or externally rotate it. I want you to take those toes forward. So let's go down into our squat here. Hands come down towards the mat. Just make sure that that front uh, knee is behind those toes, lift the chest. Please sink into that squat, or excuse me, that lunge. Slowly lower that back knee down. Ooh, feel that stretch right there. Uncurl those toes, bring the hands up to the knees. Push the hips forward for a hip flexor stretch. Continue to bring that heart rate down. As breathing comes back to normal. Okay, I want you to start to bring the right hip back. As the front leg straightens, hands are going to go to the mat for balance. All right, so you square off those hips. Pop those front toes up. Try to keep that chest lifted. You're going to feel a big stretch through the quad. Um, excuse me, through the hamstring and the glute. Good. Then set those toes down. And let's just walk this foot across our mat. And then lower that knee. Straighten that back leg for our pigeon pose. If it feels good, you should feel a big glute stretch here. If it feels good, walk those hands down. I like to rock just a little bit. It really releases the glute. Good, then bring those hands back up. Let's bend that back knee. We're in our mermaid seated position. So let the hips just open up. Let the hip just relax onto the mat. Take that right hand down. Take that left arm up, pull that shoulder down, and then just side bend over. Good, let's do that on the other side. Take the left arm down, take the right arm up and over. Good, let's take those legs out in front of us. Just shake them out, bring that right leg across, grab it with your left arm, bring your right knee to the left shoulder, rotate around. Uncross those legs, let's take the left over the right, grab it with the right arm, bring that left knee towards the right shoulder, rotate it around, sitting up nice and tall on those sits bones. Then let's go ahead and go into our mermaid seated position on this side. So this time the left knee or left leg is forward, right leg is behind you. So right away, try to let those hips relax and really sink down to the mat. Take that left arm down, side bend over to the left side. Good. Take the right arm down, side bend over to the right, staying between those two panes of glass, keeping the chest open. 
Then go ahead, take that hand down. We're gonna rotate to the left side into our pigeon pose. So you just keep that left leg forward. You take the right leg back. You start to walk yourself down if it's comfortable. I like to rock side to side a little bit, releasing that um, back glute there the, on the left side. Good, walk those hands up. We're gonna go ahead and just bring that foot up to get into position. Take that left foot forward. Take that right leg back here in your lunge here. Keep the chest lifted. If you'll feel a nice stretch here, open it up. You should feel a glute stretch as well. Then go ahead and lower that back knee. You might feel a quad stretch here. Uncurl those back toes, take those hands up to that front knee. Push forward, push those hips forward. You're gonna feel that hip flexor stretch. And then go ahead, start to pull that left hip back, to square it off. Hands are gonna to come to the mat for balance. Left toes pop up, try to lift the chest. You're gonna feel a big stretch through the hamstring and glute mm -hmm. and the calf of the left leg. Good, take those toes down and then go ahead and just pull that leg around to meet the back leg. And we're in our four point kneeling position. Pull the belly in so you don't have a big arch in the back. Pull that belly in. Spread those fingers wide and pull out of your shoulder bridge. Good. We're going to do our cat cow stretch. Take a big inhale through your nose here. As you exhale through the mouth, I want you to. Pull the belly up and concentrate on the mid thoracic spine stretching. And then inhale, push the booty back, lower the belly, lift the chest. Good, one more, cat. Exhale it all out. And then inhale, take that extension. Good, just sway those hips right and left, getting a little side flexion in there. And then keeping the hands exactly where they are, let's stretch the upper thoracic spine. So keep the hands where they are, start to sit the hips back towards the feet. Feel the hands pull the arms away in opposition. And you feel the stretch through the shoulders and the arms come back to center. Let's do that one more time. Push back. Good. And back to center. Curl those toes under, push those hips up in your downward dog, try to push those heels down, pedal those legs out right and left. Good, walk those hands back. You're in your fold over, let your head hang heavy here. Take a big inhale through the nose, let's reset that spine, as we exhale it out. Roll it all the way up. As the last to come up, roll those shoulders back. Let's take a big inhale here. And blow it all out. Good job, everyone. That is the mighty class. It's a tough one. It's that modern intensity targeted exercises. I offer that every Monday night at 5 p.m. Central online. So if you want to do it live with me, please go to my website at www bodiesbypilates.net and you can sign up online. I hope to see you here again soon. Thanks.